Hello, this is me Ashok. Today we are going to learn about the nouns in English grammar. At first, we try to understand the definition of noun. Now, noun is a name of place, person, animal, and thing that we call noun. Actually, noun means name name of person name of place name of animal name of thing etc it is we call noun there are classification of the noun the first is countable noun and second is the countable nouns uncountable nouns that we cannot count in number we cannot count in number that is we call uncountable nouns <coughs> like water that we cannot count in number yes we can count in liter milk sugar sugar we cannot count in number we can count in gram so to them we can uh, call it these are the uncountable nouns hairs hair so it is the uncountable noun next there are four categories that we want to learn today of the nouns the first is proper noun this proper noun refer to a specific noun or prop, uh, particular noun that we call proper noun for example, Sandesh, Datta, Bharat, Varsha, Sangeeta, Divya, Aurangabad, Pune, Nashik, Maharashtra, Mazalgao, Mogra. These are the proper nouns. Now let's see in sentence that we can understand it very well. Sandesh is a good boy. Varsha is brilliant girl. Datta is preparing MPC exam. Bharat is a great doctor. Sangeeta works in farm. So these are the proper nouns let's see in things Avangabad is a great city india is cultural country so these are the proper nouns of places now let's move towards the common noun common noun common noun refers to the proper noun but in commonly for example <coughs> Sandesh is a good boy. Boy, it refers to the Sandesh. Divya is a girl. Girl is a common noun which is referred to the Divya. Mogra is a village. Village is a common noun which is referred to the Mogra. Mazalgao is a beautiful city. This city word is referred to the Madalga. So, city is a common noun. So, like that, so many common nouns and they are referred to the nouns. And they must be referred to the nouns. Next is collective nouns. Collective nouns. Collective noun shows a group of nouns. This noun refer to so many things so many places so many animals or so many persons now let's we try to understand through these examples people a group of people army that is indian army army is a collective collective noun it shows the soldiers that is Indian cricket team. 
so team is a collective noun shows so many players then class there is the 10th class school library so these are the collective nouns mob is on the road mob is a collective noun crowd shouted on the road so crowd is a collective noun so these are the collective nouns that we understand understood then <coughs> abstract noun noun abstract noun that we cannot touch but we can feel the abstract noun like friendship then so many nouns that we can uh, say these are the abstract nouns here are some examples that i collect from the websites and uh, i referred that uh, jogdan sir's textbook that is learn with the uh, learn with the lakshman and there are also examples so here is one example great for understanding us happiness is always in mind so happiness is the abstract noun then another one is i believe in her innocent i believe in her i believe in her innocence so innocence is a abstract noun then life means struggle life is a abstract noun honesty is the best policy so honesty is the abstract noun then lakshman takes all the responsibilities responsibility is the abstract nouns so these are the abstract nouns that we learned next is material noun material noun material it means to refer to the material that we call material noun like gold i have a gold gold is a material noun milk i have milk milk is a material noun then iron then uh, brick so these are the material nouns so for today we learn nouns in english grammar proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun and last material noun i hope i clear uh, my point here if you have any difficulties in this then you can comment me in the comment box if you like my video then please subscribe it and share it to your friends thank you have a nice time